Hello and welcome in this video for this exercise given for a test during an interview in Cambridge. So, you would like to know how many x could verify 10 power x plus 11 power x plus 12 power x equals to 13 power x plus 14 power x. So, if you want to try, uh, let's pause the video. Otherwise, let's see the solution. So, one way to solve this equation, this is to divide all these terms by one of the five terms. And it's always nice to take this term in the middle. So, let's do that. Let's divide everything by 12 power x. So we can notice that the third term is 12 power x divided by 12 power x and this is 1. All the other terms can be written as a power x divided by b power x. So we know this rule. Every time you've got a power n divided by b power n, this is a of b power n. So now you can also simplify this 10 over 12 and this 14 over 12. So you end up with 5 over 6 power x plus 11 over 12 power x plus 1 equals to 13 over 12 power x plus 7 over 6 power x. So, we've got this function. So, one way to solve this is to focus on the first two terms. Let's call f the function such as f of x equals to 5 over 6 power x plus 11 over 12 power x. And next step is to focus on the last two terms. So let's call a function g. j of x equals to 13 over 12 power x plus 7 over 6 power x. So now one way to solve is to study these two functions. If you calculate f prime of x, you get 5 over 6 power x natural log of 5 over 6 plus 11 over 12 power x natural log of 11 over 12. Okay, these two powers Every time you've got a number, power x, this is a positive number. We've got, okay, these two numbers, okay, these positive numbers, and x, whatever the value of x, this is strictly greater than zero. And because 5 over 6 and 11 over 12 are below 1, these two natural log are below 0. So you can end up by saying that f prime of x is strictly below 0. So that means the function f is a decreasing function. This is function f and I draw this thanks to uh, the software GeoGebra. So now, let's take care of the other function. So at the end, you got j prime of x equals 13 over 12 power x times natural log of 13 over 12 plus 7 over 6 power x times natural log of 7 over 6. Exactly the same. You've got two powers. 
7, the 6, and 13, the 12 are two positive numbers. Whatever the value of x, you end up with two strictly positive numbers. Then, because 7 of the 6 and 13 of the 12 are greater than 1, you can end up with natural log of 7 of the 6 and natural log of 13 of the 12 are strictly uh, strictly above 0. So you end up with g prime of x. This is strictly above 0. So once again, thanks to the software GeoGebra, so this is function g. So now, if you recap, you've got f of x plus 1 equals to j of x. f is strictly decreasing and monotoning, and j is strictly increasing. So you've got one single point in common. So there is only one solution. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next video.